Hey Good Squad, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this Winter Wonderland theme look with encapsulated snowflakes and the blocking technique done on the index finger. However, I was not able to film the bling part nor the buffing towards the end because my camera died. But I do have enough footage to show you guys the process and how this set was created. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. All right, so first things first, I've applied my tips and now I'm gonna apply my dehydrator. And I'm gonna only show you guys one hand. Like I mentioned, I only have footage for one hand. So here I'm just applying my dehydrator to each hand. And next I'm gonna go ahead and apply my non-acid primer to all five fingers. And fams, before I forget, go ahead and click that subscribe button before you leave. Make sure you subscribe. All right, now for the good part, I'm just gathering everything I need. So I have some raw glitter. I have two packs of snowflakes. They have different colors. We're not sure which one we're going to use. And I have my white powder and let's get started. So I'm just going to take my white powder on the tip of my brush and I'm just going to create zigzag swerving motions in no specific pattern whatsoever. So here again, I'm going to dip just the tip of my brush, apply my bead and just swerve that, drag it. You want to make sure some areas are lighter than others to create that depth and contrast. And sometimes I even go in with a soft white and a intense white to give more of a definition. So while that marble dries, I'm going to go in and apply a bead of soft white just so that the nail is not too clear. And now I'm coming back to the pinky. I'm going to go ahead with some raw glitters to give it some dimension, like I said. And if it doesn't stick, you might want to use some clear acrylic, dip in your glitter, and then apply. So it depends on how fast you work. That's going to allow you to either put the clear acrylic or just go directly in with the glitter. Alright, so next I'm just going to pick up my first snowflake and I'm going to apply that to the pinky. And trust me guys, sometimes it's hard to pick up these things. So you might want to have tweezers nearby in case... It doesn't really work well too well with your brush and it's all trial and error sometimes i get it with my brush sometimes i have no choice but to use tweezers and i just applied the star on top i mean sorry the snowflake on top but you could always apply a clear bead of acrylic first to get the snowflake to stick and then continue but in this case i just went straight down with the snowflake so i wanted to avoid thickness So with this next note, I'm going in with my custom mix soft white and I'm going to do this on the ring finger. This one's just going to be a solid white plain nail because I am going to apply bling to this. But you guys won't see the bling part because I didn't have footage on my camera to do so. But yeah, so here I'm applying my bead and it's very important to have a good liquid to powder ratio when applying your bead. That way it won't run into the cuticles and it will prevent lifting. Now this nail is going to be the encapsulated nail, so I'm just going ahead and wetting the nail so that the glitter that I'm about to put can embed into it and hold its place. And then once that's done, I'm going to go in with some clear acrylic and I'm going to apply my snowflake. So it just really depends on the size of the nail and how things are feeling. Sometimes I will apply clear acrylic to hold it down and sometimes I won't. So here you see me actually adding a bit more clear acrylic wetly on top just to secure it in so it doesn't move so that when I encapsulate the whole thing everything is into place. And I'm just giving some firm pressure right here to even out my snowflakes so that none are sticking up. So now I'm just going to let that dry in the meantime so i'm going to move on to the index finger where we'll be doing the encapsulated nail so again i'm going on my custom soft white and i'm doing a full nail you can do this in two parts but i try to save time when doing my set so i decided to do a full nail and cut after so i'm just patting my bead into place getting it all nice and straight and cleaning up whatever I don't like. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with my blade and here you wanna apply a firm pressure. You don't wanna apply heavy pressure because you could cut the client. This blade is extremely sharp. So here I'm carrying two parallel lines and I'm just gonna scrape out all the negative space. And this ended up sticking to my blade a little bit, which annoyed me. So you could always dip it in clear acrylic to avoid the acrylic sticking to your blade. So nonetheless, I'm just gonna continue scraping out my negative space until I'm happy.
So now that that's done, we're going to let that dry and move on to the thumb. And here I'm going to do a full white nail with a glitter fade. Now when doing these kind of sets, it's very time consuming because you have to wait on each nail to set and do what it is you need to do. The same way with a pink and white. If you're doing a pink and white set, you'll do a cuticle bead in pink, wait for all 10 nails to dry, then come back and file your base, then apply your white, wait for your white to dry, then file everything. So it's kind of the same thing. So that's why costs kind of go hand in hand with these sets because you're really waiting around. You're wait doing a lot of waiting, waiting for each step to reach where it needs to be for you to proceed. So here I'm just gonna apply my cuticle bead to finish off um, this nail. It is a longer nail. So sometimes I do use one bead, sometimes I do use two bead. But using two bead is also great because it avoids the cuticle being so thick. And I'm going to go in with some clear, dip into my glitter, and just add that only at the cuticle area because I do want a glitter fade. I don't want the full nail. You could even do this at the end with a gel polish that's glittery if you want, but the look does change a little bit. So moving back on to my index nails, I'm just going to use my file and I'm going to get this line as sharp as possible. So that's why I basically had to wait because I needed the acrylic to harden, to then file it, to then proceed to the next step. If you're still here, don't be stingy with the love. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video. Now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to go in and take some raw glitter, apply in the center. And then next, I'm going to go in with my snowflake and also apply that to the center. I'm just going into my Valentino Claire and I'm gonna encapsulate the pinky so remember we did a marble we added some glitter so now I'm gonna seal all this in with some clear so that when I go in at the end to do my e-filing I won't be tearing off that snowflake and all the glitter that we've just placed so in this next part I just decided to speed through the process a little bit because I'm basically gonna encapsulate all the nails that either had a snowflake had glitter and that's really about it. So here we are still encapsulating everything and I'm gonna include some footages at the end of what the final look actually looked like and this set was absolutely gorgeous and I could also do this in a glow in the dark white which would have been epic and she was super 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 happy about it. As this concludes our look I honestly really hope that you guys enjoyed this video or at least learned something from it and before you go do not forget go and head over to my Instagram follow me on Instagram at glitzxox.